Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. You have a brand new fucking beginning coming on. Wow. And whatever this beginning is, it's happening after there's been a breakup, a separation. Okay. Someone hurt you bad. Okay. They really hurt you bad. And now they want to come back and fix it. Just trying to adjust the camera. Let's see. All right. I'm getting here that you could be dealing with someone who was a little smug in the past. Okay. You're definitely dealing with someone that you wanted a happily ever after with. Okay, but this person was giving you a lot of bits and pieces, trying to keep you within the relationship, okay, dragging you in this connection, because of which things fell apart between you guys, okay? Although I do see there is a lot of communication coming in in the near future, okay? A lot of communication. You, on the other hand here, I feel you're more focused on wanting a balanced relationship. That's what you desire, okay? And I think you're very focused on yourself. You're work building on yourself. You're being very grateful. You have a lot of gratitude right now, okay? And uh, I think you have a lot of clarity about the situation or this is what you're wanting, okay? I feel somewhere somehow this person hasn't given you the clarity or this person hasn't given you a, a closure. But I feel you have given yourself a closure or you have had this realization or clarity, clarity or an epiphany of some sort okay where you realize that this is what you want and you're not settling for anything less okay and this could have been a very one-sided situation in the past okay this was more of a taker than a giver they took more than they gave and uh you're gonna have to make a decision here and the likely outcome because what's coming towards you is the ace of pentacles this is what you don't see coming there is a new start that's coming up for you and I think what the start is is probably eventually going to lead to the ten of pentacles here as your overall energy okay if this is not that but then this is definitely what you want or this is what surrounds the energy or the connection here let's see um tell me about the ten of pentacles why is the ten of pentacles here as the overall energy why is this the overall energy of the connection of the connection Yeah, this person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? This was someone here who was emotionally shut off, not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable, okay? Someone you were dealing with who was very hurt in the past and because of which they weren't being able to see the potential in this connection here. Maybe they were de dealing with a lot of emotional baggage from the past. They weren't really being able to open up, okay? Someone I feel was running away from emotions. Tell me more. About the Ace of Cups. What's the Ace of Cups here? Four of Pentacles, yeah. But I feel this person's not letting you go. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is hell-bent on wanting something stable, something committed, long-term, whatever have you, okay? They want this with you because they're coming up as the magician. Could be dealing with a Pisces, doesn't have to be. Uh, could be dealing with a Pisces, another Pisces, a Gemini, or a Virgo, okay? But yeah, this person is holding on to you, Ty. They're not going to let you go. They're not letting you go, Pisces. If you think it's over, guess what? Think again now. Six so of Cups is the current situation, is the now. This is what's happening right now. This is what's coming to the current situation. What's the Six of Cups here? Tell me about the Six of Cups. The moon here. This is someone here who um, who was probably uh, very deceptive, okay? There could have been a lot of hidden secrets around this relationship, okay? Uh, there could have been a lot of deception. There could have been a lot of insecurity, a lot of fear, anxiety around this situation. But I'm feeling you were dealing with someone here who was not very honest about their feelings with you, okay? They were not very honest about their intentions, their agenda. Could be a lot of things that were hidden from you. Not getting a bad energy. Could be. Doesn't have to be. But uh, I feel someone here, you know, who's been, who's a little reserved. Okay, because the four of pentacles is this is the kind of person you're dealing with. Okay, so they were very reserved. They were not ready to open up, not very comfortable being vulnerable towards you. But with the moon here in the current situation, I feel it's you, the hermit. I feel when this person comes in right now, either this person has ghosted you, you've ghosted them, but someone out here, when this person comes in, right, I feel that there's going to be this energy out here where um, there's a lot of 
a lot of deep analysis going on okay a lot of uh, trying to assess the situation trying to figure out a lot of uh, things going on try to figure out if you still want to be with this person or not but with the hermit here and the moon here you don't you can't really really see the situation very clearly okay because you feel there's still a lot of things hidden and you have no you have no choice but to rely on your intuition because you don't have all the facts clear in front of you yeah and with the hermit here also i'm getting you've ghosted this person okay this is a ghoster they keep ghosting you every single time shit you know uh, life hits them hard yeah but uh, this is someone also who's trying to be very logical very practical yeah and they're trying to do a lot of thinking and over you know analyzing and you know a lot of figuring out about the situation a lot of what when where how why where the situation is heading to wondering what they can do next try to figure out their next approach towards you because probably they're also hidden in the dark okay because i do feel there is no communication between you guys right now your blockage or influence here is the three of swords why is the three of swords here Someone wants to heal the connection. Eight of Pentacles. Someone out here, challenge out here is to put in the work, put in the effort in this connection. You could be someone here who's put in a lot of effort out here, putting a lot of, uh, you put in your 120% in this connection here, okay? Whilst this person out here did nothing, okay? They were just chilling, letting you do all the work. But now the challenge out here is to work on this connection. I feel the person who's coming in towards you, uh, this person wants to uh, um, have a reconciliation. They want to have communication with you and they want to put in the work like in the past they didn't. And with the lovers here, yeah. You're going to have a decision, a choice that is needed to be made here. I feel somewhere, somehow, Pisces, you know this person is coming back. The lovers, guys, is not an easy decision, okay? The lovers, to me, this is a, a relationship that you've been dealing with all this while. I'm getting, it's a very, very strong connection, okay? It's a very strong connection, but it's like one wants something casual, the other one wants something more like a deep soul connection, okay? So it's like a choice that someone needed to be made and they weren't making it. They were still sticking to the more casual choice, wanting to, um, not wanting to invest their emotions, okay? That's what I keep getting. Someone was holding back. They were in this connection with you, but when it came to emotional involvement, right? Involvement, that's when they didn't do it. They were not choosing the road that was aligning with their higher self, okay? They had to make a big and hard decision here, and but this person, it feels like they're divinely guided towards you. You could have met this person very randomly, okay? But you were destined to meet. You could just uh, like met them all of a sudden out of nowhere. <laughs> But this is a very protected and very divine connection here. This, there could be other people involved here. Yeah. Or this person had to make a choice between you and another person here. But it was like a life-changing decision for them. Okay. This person is someone, you know, who's very used to being in control. Yeah. It's like an intense energy for someone, you know, who just naturally likes to control everything in their life. And when it comes to them, where, you know, it's like things are just mm, hard, offbeat, you know, like where they have to release some kind of control. It's just very hard for them to let go of. Four of Cups, that's what's on your mind. So, yeah, you feel, you feel rejected. Okay, you could have made a lot of attempts towards this person. Okay. Uh, and felt rejected by this person this person didn't approve of you or you were just not happy okay you were just not happy in the relationship you probably even think that this relationship is absolutely over yeah because things are very stuck and stagnant right it's like um you have a lot of love for this person yet but i think you're waiting for this person to come towards you and wanting to offer their cup of love to you okay you're not talking you're not expressing anything yeah but there are chances there is an uh, there is an offer that's coming in when you least expect it with ace of pentacles here it's just that i feel that deep down you're waiting for divine help okay to get you both together yeah but i don't think you're doing anything because there's a lot of dissatisfaction around this okay you feel very unfulfilled very bored and discontent you just have shut yourself off to new opportunities here yeah because you've been hurt and rejected by this person tell me about the four of cups on pisces's mind eight of swords yeah you're stuck on this person you can't let this person go that's why you're not being able to see other opportunities. Why is the Eight of Swords here? You're stuck on this person. 
uh, when it comes to this relationship, I feel there's a lot of negative thinking that you have around, have around the situation rather than positive. One other thing that I can tell you is the Pisces who don't want to be in this connection or who don't want this past person back, this ex back, you are staying in this situation on your own. Okay, because you feel rejected, you feel you're you're not good enough, but you're choosing to ha have your he hands tied. Okay, you can get out of this, but it's you who's choosing to do this to yourself. One more card for the Ace of Swords, uh, for the Four of Swords. Oh my God, for the Eight of Swords. What the fuck? Um, one more card for the Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, your cards are up. Your cards are up, Pisces. You don't trust this person. This person, you know, you. I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting you tried to make this work out with this person over and over and over again. But it just didn't seem to work out. You probably kept waiting for this person to come towards you. Still are waiting for this person to come towards you. You probably feel they will change. But you're quite tired, exhausted, okay? This is the wounded warrior, right? fed up of doing and fighting the same battle again and again and again but i do see with the ten nine of wands here you're somewhere somehow very close to ending the cycle wrapping the cycle up or ending things with this person here but it's that um persistence okay because you feel so divinely connected to this person it's like how can i fucking give up i've invested so much your emotions your effort your work how can i just give up one last shot okay it's like that Ace of Pentacles is what you don't see coming. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? What is this Ace of Pentacles? This is a golden opportunity coming towards you, Pisces, with the Five of Swords, but you don't trust it, babe. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't trust it. There's been too much disappointment around the situation for you to give this a shot so easily. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is someone who's wanting to start something new with you, okay? They want to start from scratch. But again, this is not the Ace of Cups, which is just an emotional offer. It's not the Ace of Wands, which is just passion. It is the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who's wanting to come towards you. No bullshit, no fucking around. Something big, big is coming towards you, but you don't trust it. That's the problem. Yeah, because you've already walked away. You've been fed up of this person here who's been playing mind games, you know, a lot of mind fuckery going on. And you're like, you know what? It was quite exhausting for you. There could have been a lot of tension and conflict between you guys over and over again. And you're like, I don't know if I want to give this another chance. You don't really want to go back to doing the same thing over and over again. That's what's coming towards you with the Four of Wands here. It's going to come in towards you in divine time. You have a reunion coming in, guys. This is your twin flame. The lovers, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Like, I don't know what to say. This is very divinely timed, you know. This is exactly what you had to go through, what they had to go through. I feel you're teaching this person a lesson, not you exactly. I feel the universe is teaching this person a lesson. They need to learn what they need to learn. You need to learn what you need to learn before you guys can have this reunion here. And I feel when this guy, when this person comes back towards you, whoever this person is, they're coming back for good is what I'm getting. They're coming back for good. You're the one who's doubtful about this. Your cards are up. You're in this vengeful mode, you know, very resentful. It's like you've got that sp that sense of spite in you. Like, yeah, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You know, it's like something like that. But you don't want to blink your eye even once when this person comes around you. That's your energy. You know, it's like, I, I don't trust you at all. See, the nine of wands, the five of swords, it's all guards up. It's like, I'm not going to let you fuck around with me this time if that's what you think. Uh, nine of cups in the past so what's the nine of cups in the past so there was a wish that came true in the past here okay something fulfilled you emotionally what's the nine of cups queen of pentacles You truly invested into a connection that you thought was getting somewhere, was getting into something long term, okay? Your investment towards this person who you were dealing with was to the T, okay? You did invest into it. 
but the thing is that i think there was some kind of disappointment in the past because you were dealing with someone here who was the nine of cups okay so you were dealing with someone who was very emotionally and mentally happy where they were okay they were not ready to get involved in a relationship because they were very happy on their own but you made them happy they made you happy but when it came to collectively meeting, making each other happy that's when that was not happening you were ready for it they weren't they weren't okay because this person out here was probably very happy and content where they are they had a strong desire for you for sure you were their wish fulfillment okay but i think that somehow somehow this person was someone who was very happy in their space and their solitude yeah but you on the other hand with the queen of pentacles i think you invested and gave it your all hoping wishing praying things were getting into something more stable tell me more about the queen of pentacles and the nine of cups in the past for pisces Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So yeah, see, that's the kind of energy that you're dealing with. That's exactly what I'm saying, right? This person came in towards you with a lot of love. This person expressed their emotions. But the problem here is that you're dealing with someone who's been very hot and cold. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, yes, they're, they're not shy. They're very expressive, okay? This person has finally would have opened up to you. They came and they were like, you were like, they were like literally like the lover boy, the lover girl, right? Could be an apology, could be an expression of love, but this person had a lot of love for you, okay? They love you. The feelings were there. They were ready to open up emotionally, wanting to be vulnerable, okay? But I think it only was stuck till the point of the Nine of Cups. So it was stuck till it made you happy. It made this person happy. That was their wish fulfillment. But yours was a little more than that, which was the Ten of Cups, okay? You wanted the Ten of Pentacles. You wanted something which would make you guys a couple, okay? Like a family. Something more committed, okay? But that's something that you didn't have that didn't happen because you would you were the queen of pentacles and you were dealing with someone with the knight of cups. You're very wishy washy, hot and cold. Yeah. Let's see. The knight, right? They don't stay in one place. That's the problem here. Commitment phobic, you know, something like that. Okay, Eight of Wands is uh, the near future. This is uh, in the near future. So there's a lot of communication coming in back and forth, okay? Eight of Wands, let's see. What's the Eight of Wands? What is this communication about? So I think there's going to be a lot of exchange of communication back and forth with a fire sign with the king of wands here this is someone here who is extremely passionate about you uh this could be someone who was not taking action towards you in the past okay this person was not taking the lead role in the past yeah they were very laid back someone i'm, I'm getting someone here again i'm getting very strong commitment phobic okay someone who's um the very laid back very passive yeah they were not motivated enough to take the lead role or take action out here they would care a lot about other people's opinions you know a lot of lackluster but severely non-committal and flaky yeah they were very indecisive unsure about themselves and uh, not uh, very confident about whether they wanted to make things happen with you or not okay they could be very nervous yeah but they played a lot of games. I'm getting like that playboy, play girl energy. It doesn't have to be, but someone definitely wanted things to fall in their lap, you know, and you probably wanted something more invested, something more sustainable, tangible, whilst this person out here was just like all about the passion. That's the kind of person who you're going to have a lot of communication with. You've been waiting for this person for a very long time to come in. The Seven of Cups in reverse fell out, um, although I'm not going to take it, but this is someone here who had their options open. They wanted to see what was out there, or they treated you as an option, or you thought you were an option because this person was just not giving you what you wanted, okay? Tell me about the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands in the near future. What is this King of Wands and Eight of Wands in the near future? The Five of Cups, yeah. But I feel that this... Now, I feel that... now. There is a lot of regret here, okay? It's in the near future. I feel when this person comes in, the communication is going to be there. But somewhere, somehow, with the Five of Cups here, I feel there is still one person here. Could be you, could be them. I feel this could be you, Pisces, who still not being able to get over what they did in the past with you. Because you're pretty traumatized by what happened between you guys. And uh, that feeling is something that's still, still not getting over. Maybe this person wants to have a reconciliation, for sure, okay? Maybe this person is now wanting to come towards you and, uh, you know, they're letting the bygones be bygones. But that aspect of regret is still there. 
okay with the five of cups here you're still crying over spilled milk you know pisces you could be really severely hurt okay when someone does this to you because you're someone who gives unconditionally i think you're still holding on to disappointment and sadness from the past okay in the near future when this one person comes towards you because you're very very disappointed in this person here you're still looking at the negatives instead of the positives okay holding on to the pain like i said grudges bitterness resentment okay still grieving on a loss or still going through a lot of um you you've been emotionally and energetically quite affected by this yeah um you could be someone who's being a little unforgiving pisces you know i get it all right six of pentacles is what you're doing what's the six of cards keep falling off please don't do that five of wands and divorce one of the fallout you've given up on this relationship no no longer wanting to fight for this connection no longer wanting to compete for this person no longer wanting to entertain any kind of drama and chaos that this person drags along with them six of pentacles please this is how you see yourself why is the six of pentacles here for pisces hierophant okay give me your mark up give me your mark up Queen of Wands. All right, give me. Uh, what's the magician here? Tell me about the magician. This is in your environment, but this could also be you. One more card for the Five of Pentacles, please. Give me one more card for the Five of Pentacles. Give me one more card for the Five of Pentacles. Wow. All right, let's do this. Pisces, how you see yourself in this connection is the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Wands. I think you got your shit together. You genuinely know what you want, okay? And you're going to go and pursue what you want, okay? What you're passionate about, what you makes you happy. You're sitting there pretty sexy, confident, okay? Sassy, and uh, you got a lot of options, babe. You do. Whoever this is, okay? You're taking action. You're making shit happen. But none of this has to do with the person that you're dealing with, okay? Because what you want is with the Six of Pentacles here, you want a balanced relationship here, okay? You do. This is what your aim is. This is what your goal is. And But you're sticking out like a sore thumb to this person here, okay? You're doing, you're doing you. And uh, someone's put you on a pedestal right now. You're just very uh, fiery right now, okay? And... Um, you're the desired one, okay? You're on the go. But I don't feel any of this energy has to do with you wanting to pursue this person here. It's all about, I know what I want. I know what I'm committed to, okay? Then the Hierophant is all about your lessons, right? All about the higher wisdom, the higher knowledge here. You know what you're committed to and you will do it. So I feel you still stand your ground about wanting something committed. If it's not with this person, it's it could be with some, someone else. But I feel you're still standing strong in what you want and you're not budging okay you're not going to give up you're not going to give in to anything that is uh not good for your higher self and when it comes to this person here i feel you're just lacking the you don't give a shit okay you're not giving this person the attention okay and you're not interested or as passionate about this person as you were before the, this is someone who you don't see coming in your environment is the magician here with the five of pentacles and the empress here Someone wants marriage with you, like I said, right? Now we even have the Empress here. Someone sees you as the one, okay? Someone sees you as the one. This is that This is that energy of where... So, you know what, Pisces? What's happening here is with the Empress here, okay, as how this person sees you, right? This is what they want. What's happening here is how they, when this person left, right, you could have been very stressed, very exhausted, okay? You were trying to control the situation, blah, 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 whatever is happening. But I feel now what has happened is what is attracting this person here and why this person is manifesting you back is because you're very relaxed right now. You know in, uh, you know that these things are going to work out. You're not chasing. You're only attracting. Okay, you're using a law, law of attraction here. You're embracing your inner power to get your wishes. Okay, to conquer the world. You're letting things be without worrying, without questioning, without being stressed. Okay, there's no physical effort. I feel is getting being put in from your side you just believe in the in your prayers you're divine okay you're being like so attractive like a bee to a honey okay and you're well aware of your own worth okay and you're not going to settle so 
when you act as though you're worth it, other people will treat you as though you really are too, right? This person wants stability, security with you. They see you as wifey material, husband material, um, and uh, they want to nurture this connection with you, okay? They want something uh, very, very futuristic, and they see you as someone they want long term with. They miss you with the five of pentacles. They miss you a lot, and now they're hellbent on manifesting you back. I mean, they're genuinely taking action towards you. Ace of Swords is in your emotions or your hopes and fears. So you're either you're hoping to get clarity. Yeah. What's the Ace of Swords here? What's the Ace of Swords? Or you're just cutting through the bullshit. What's the Ace of Swords here? In Pisces is feelings and emotions. What's the Ace of Swords here? Two of Pentacles. Give me one more card. For Pisces, is hopes or fears. One more card for the Ace of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Pisces, you're very conflicted. Very conflicted in your head, okay? The Two of Pentacles, you're going back and forth. You're not sure. Because I feel here with the Ace of Swords here, um, there is some kind of clarity that is coming in or there's some kind of clarity that you want, okay? I feel you're still not trying to see the bigger picture here, but you're trying to lose your use your logic. Okay, you're not trying to keep your emotions on the side. You're trying to use your logic. But with the five of wands here, you're still... There's like this tug of war going on. Your head says something, your heart says something else. Your head asks you to walk away. But your heart is asking you to stay and wait up for this person or give this person another chance here. It's a, I mean, you realize that this is a very honor of connection. This is something that lacks a lot of stability, you know. But you're going very back and forth with your decision. and You're not being able to make up your mind. One moment you want this, the next moment you don't, okay? So you're just trying to make up your mind here. You're trying to find a balance here, you know? And um, this, I'm getting very strongly that someone was an option here or they made you feel like an option, okay? But um, you're definitely trying to juggle and weigh out your options. Yeah? You are. And I think at the Ace of Swords here, this is what you want. You just want the fucking blunt truth. That's all you want. You just want a breakthrough. If not a breakthrough, you want a closure. But you just want to know, like, you know, you want to wrap up. Even if you want to wrap up the cycle, you want to wrap it up in a way where, you know, okay, things have ended for good. Because you don't want to do this cycle with this person over and over again. Two of Wands is the best possible outcome here. So someone needs to make a choice here. You're going to have a choice, Pisces. What's the Two of Wands here as the best possible outcome? See, that's where the Two of Pentacles. Where's the Two of Wands here? That's the best possible outcome for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Shit. <laughs> Give me one more card for the best possible outcome. With the Two of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Dude, Pisces. Fuck no. You're choosing to be on your own, babe. You love this person a lot. You love this person a lot, but you can't help but make a choice and choose a different direction as the outcome here when this person comes in. Because with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're good. You're good. I'm getting so much of independent energy here. The Nine of Pentacles is pre-empress energy. We have the Empress here as how, this, as how this person looks at you. So that's the kind of vibes you're giving to this person here. But I feel you're going to make a choice or you're wanting to make a choice here. You're going to make, I think, you're looking the other way. You're choosing to be on your own. Although, although you have a lot of feelings for this person, but you're trying to run away from this. You're making a decision that is more logical based rather than emotion based, okay? It's just like, you know what, by the time this person comes in, it's like, you know what, you're good where you are. You're self-sufficient, you have everything that you need except a romantic relationship. You're, you're just being single, abundant, you're all about your money, yourself, throwing yourself into work, taking care of yourself, you know. Uh, you're just more focused on your finances, your mental security and your overall independence than wanting to make this relationship work out, you know. You're not making this connection a priority because you know your worth, you got your shit together, you got money together, you know, you don't need nobody, okay. And uh, that's what you're doing because with the seven of swords here, I feel this is a decision and a choice that you're making, which is not something that you would want to do, but you just got to do it because you just don't got a choice. 
you know you don't have a choice because you don't want to be emotionally overwhelmed or get into your emotions and make a decision that is going to probably get you again with this person back okay i'm not saying that this is going to be for good but at least for right now at least this, this is the current energies right so for at least for right now for this week when this person comes back this is going to be your energy or in the near future when they come in this is the kind of choice you made i feel this person is going to come back to you but they're going to take their own time they couldn't take their own time because see when the offer comes in is also when you don't even trust it you don't trust it you're going to choose to be single you're going to choose to be okay on your own you know for sure because this person probably someone is here, here you don't trust this person's offer you know you feel this person is not trustworthy you feel they're deceptive you feel there's something that they're not telling you that's one of the another reason why you are going to hold back from them yeah because this is someone here who's again very on and off right in and out connection here you feel they're coming in with all this love with i mean you know and they're gonna go back again you don't trust them because of which you're choosing to you know be on the safer side okay that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below back like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye and i will see you next time bye bye and i will see you next time bye bye